Hello, and welcome back to my closet, or more accurately, the closet that I share with my husband. It's that time of year, I'm finally switching over all of my spring and summer stuff for fall and winter stuff. This is like my favorite time of year. I make this video twice a year when I switch over from summer to fall winter and from fall winter to spring summer. I try and like keep the off season clothes in kind of like a Rubbermaid container in our spare bedroom closet. Um, so I'm gonna first go through all of my spring and summer stuff. There's a few like cardigans and sweaters already in here because it's been a little bit chilly, but I'm gonna go through um, kind of what I have been wearing this past season, decide if I'm going to donate, sell it, or keep it. Um, I feel like this is a really great way to refine my wardrobe if I haven't been wearing something for an entire season. Um, and it just helps me get more and more minimal each season. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna go through all of this. I'm gonna go through all of my um, dresser drawers, like t-shirts, I have some more sweaters, and then like shorts and pants and stuff, what I'm going to keep for next year and what I'm going to um, put away for next year. That was the same thing. What I'm gonna keep for next year and what I'm gonna get rid of. And then I'm going to bring out last season stuff and go through that and see what I'm gonna keep and get rid of. So buckle up, let's get into it. Try to keep it organized. I have like dresses, pants and skirts, sweaters, cardigans, jackets, and then more of like t-shirts and like um, blouses and stuff like that because I am a marketing coordinator. I do go into the office a few times a week, though primarily work from home. So I do have a few of the more dressier stuff. But I'm gonna start back here with dresses. I can already tell you that I didn't wear this dress once this spring and summer, though it, it's super cute. The color has just never really been me, so I'm gonna try and um, I'm gonna get rid of that. This one as well, I didn't really wear much. My husband really likes this one though, so I might hold on to it for next year. Um, a little bit more scandalous so I'm gonna put this on the keep pile for now this one is like a button-down denim dress which is just like a little bit too snug I never wore it because it was slightly uncomfortable so I think I'm going to part ways with it just because it doesn't do me any good to hold on to clothes that don't fit me and then this dress I never ended up wearing in spring and summer but I'm gonna hold on to it because I think it's more of a fall dress anyway I wore this um, for our engagement pictures, actually. It comes with a little belt, so I'm gonna keep this one as well. Then I have this dress that is from one of my absolute favorite ethical fashion brands. It's called Passion Lily. Um, this is not doing a good job of showing it because the tie is all the way up here. Um, but I think I am going to part with it just because it's a little bit too bright for the colors that I like to wear now. It's really gorgeous, so I'm gonna try and sell it so it goes to a good home, because it's so beautiful. The quality is amazing, and I love absolutely everything this brand stands for, but it's just no longer serving my style. Down for now. These two are actually the exact same dress um, from LA Relax, so I'm gonna be holding on to both of these because I love them. They are maxi dresses, and they're really easy to style. Like, if you put like a cardigan uh, over top or like a turtleneck underneath, something like that. I think that they work really well for the fall and the winter time, especially this burnt orange color that I love. And then I have this vintage maxi dress that I just didn't wear enough, though it's so beautiful. Maybe I'll hold on. Well, I'm gonna hold on to it and try and style it this fall and winter. Just because it's vintage, you know? You never know when they're gonna find something. I'm gonna hold on to this. Still have more dresses. Surprisingly, I'm almost done though. So this dress is from an ethical and sustainable brand called Woven, Woven? no, Woman. Do I know anything? No. Um, and it is my favorite dress that I've ever owned, ever. I will be keeping this until the day that I die. I'm really excited to style this fall and winter. I think like with a little um, denim or leather jacket, it's gonna look so cute. This dress as well as from LA Relax, I'm gonna put this away for next year just because um, it's a little too summery. So I'm gonna hold on to it for sure, but I'm gonna tuck it away until next year. This dress, again, I wore this like every day in summer last year and I didn't wear it once this year. Super cute, I, I thrifted it. It's originally from American Apparel though. Um, 
but just not really my style anymore. So going to part ways. And then I have two um, overall dresses. One is clearly much longer than the other one. This one I did not end up wearing this year. It's just slightly too short. And if I like make the straps longer, then there's too much like boobage going on. So I just never reached for it. Um, this one I think I can get away with styling for the fall and winter time. So I'm gonna hold on to this one because I think it's really cute and I did just thrift it recently, so. Okay, this one I also just thrifted recently. It's another overall dress. This one's a little bit longer and it's this brown corduroy. Um, definitely gonna get so much use out of this in the fall time with tights, with a sweater underneath, like so cute, very excited. This vintage dress I never ended up wearing, though it's so cute, I think I'm gonna part ways with it. This vintage one I did wear a bunch, but I'm going to um, put it away for next year because it's a little bit too summery. It's a little too light. Okay, then I have a couple of skirts. This one I can already tell you I didn't really wear. It's more of a business one, but I still just don't really wear it. This one as well, I absolutely love the length, the flow, like everything about it, but I just, I don't really wear this color, so there's no point. This is, um, a very long maxi skirt, which is like gingham, a big table. I'm gonna hold on to that for next year because it's so beautiful. This mini skirt, again, didn't really get much wear out of it. It's a little bit too short. And then I have these two, whoops, as I drop it. This one I'm for sure gonna keep in my wardrobe for fall and winter time. I think this one, this one I'll hold on to for next year, though I don't know if next year I'm gonna keep it because I didn't wear it too much, but I don't want to um, get rid of it just yet, so I'm gonna hold on to it. All right, pants. Most of these are like for the office. These ones didn't really wear too much, gonna get rid of those. These ones I will hold on to just because they're a good staple piece for um, the office. Same with these ones I just thrifted. They're like a paper bag. Um, waist. I do think I need to like taper in the ankles just a little bit because they're a little bit too wide. These I wear all the time. Obsessed. One of my best thrift finds. Same with these trousers, trousers as well. They fit me so perfectly. Um, so definitely keeping those. These, they kind of look like pajama pants. I swear they're not. I didn't actually end up wearing them this summer though. So I'm gonna pass those on. These two, I definitely get a, a lot of wear out. These are kind of like leggings that I can wear to work. And then these are just like the best everyday linen pants, like such a huge fan. I think that's probably like the number one thing missing from my wardrobe for fall and winter time is more like linen pants that I can wear every day so that I don't have to rely on leggings, even though leggings are the bomb, but variety, you know? This tank top, I think I'm gonna put a way for next year because I don't know how much wear I'll get out of it and then both of these I think I will pass on because I I definitely thrifted them and then thought that I was going to wear them so much and didn't end up wearing them like nearly at all so I'm going to put those away this top I think I will pack away for next year as well I think that's another thing missing from my wardrobe is just like plain um, layering t-shirts and stuff like that's a little bit too open for fall and winter even if I do layer it blazer wearing or keeping not wearing it right now I'm keeping it I have this top I actually have it um, matching I have the, the exact same one in white that's being washed right now so I'm gonna hold on to these because these are good um, for layering under cardigans and stuff at work then I have this shirt which again I didn't really wear much and I think it has to do with the fact that it has these built-in ties so you kind of have to wear it tied and I don't really like that style too much anymore this cardigan is a key. cardigan is a keep it's a tried and true I don't want to keep too many cardigans but this the other two are kind of cropped and this one is long so I'm gonna hold on to that this top I already know it's pretty similar to the other one but I didn't really wear it so I'm going to get rid of that one this jacket again I think I'm going to put upstairs I did just thrift this this is like the perfect vintage denim jacket I'm so excited to wear this this season um, but it should just it should be upstairs and then we just we have so much that I didn't I haven't worn like 
I thought I was gonna wear this top, never did. Thought I was gonna wear this top, I wore it once and just, I don't love it. Same with this one, just don't really, that was a sock. A sock just came out of the sleeve. Well, that tells me where that's been. Um, this little cardigan I will keep as well because it's more, it's more of a lounge piece, but I will keep this. This cardigan I didn't really wear. This shirt I didn't really wear either. I don't know why. I did definitely when I got this office job, I bought a lot of clothes that I was like, yeah, that'll be great for the office. And then I just never wore them at the office. This shirt, I remember, well, I've had it for years and it's always been a favorite, but I didn't wear it this year. So I'm not gonna hold on to it any longer. This shirt I thrifted not too long ago. I haven't really had a chance to wear it yet. So I'm gonna hold on to it because I can probably style it. This sweater I like, but it's a little bit too... What is the word? I'm not a huge fan of the material. Haven't worn it. Keep, this is so cute. Not keep, didn't wear. Again, this cropped cardigan, it served me for such a period of time and then I just haven't worn it since. So, my friend, Huge fan of this t-shirt. It wrinkles so much, which is the only reason why it's hung up. Um, it's from Organic Basics and it's so comfy. And um, yeah, I really like this one, but it's gonna have to stay hung up because it wrinkles like crazy. Okay, that's it for my more than half of the closet. Bless my husband for taking up not as much space. Um, I'm going to put all of what I'm keeping back in here. I'm gonna speed it up for you guys. I also, um, like thrifted a bunch of wooden hangers. So I'm, the goal is to have all of the hangers in the entire closet be wooden. Um, I don't think I'm gonna get there today, but I'm gonna try, especially for some of the pieces that I'm putting away or um, not keeping any wooden hangers. So I'm gonna switch all this over now. And um, yeah, cue the music and let's speed up the film. super warm and cozy but I don't think it's worth keeping and since I'm keeping the other brown cardigan I'm not gonna keep this one I really like it but the sleeves are like bubble sleeves and they're just a little bit annoying okay so sorry I lied one more cardigan this one I have had for years and it is just it's the closest thing I have to like a fisherman knit sweater so I'm keeping it I don't wear it very often but especially like on really cold days because it's so thick and heavy then I like to have it. This sweater is a good um, staple to wear with like pants and stuff. It's, it's not my favorite but I do know that I will miss it if it's not in my wardrobe just because it's a good piece to kind of fall back on. And then I have this pink one which I already know I'm not going to be holding on to so there we go. Easy peasy. But that's not all. Here we go. This sweater, it's probably a good lounge sweater. I'm gonna see if I can fit that into my drawers. This one I don't think I'm gonna hold on to. Again, I'm just not really into color and I need to stop telling myself that I can be into color because then I end up buying things that I don't wear. No, I said I don't like color. 
I do want it's like a lounge shirt. So this is uh, just a little Disney Mickey Mouse one that I'm gonna uh, use for lounging as well. It's incredibly wrinkly, but I'm gonna hold on to that. This sweater I'm not going to keep. A couple pairs of leggings. These are just really good for layering under the skirts and dresses to kind of keep them warm. I don't really wear them on their own. This pair of leggings I do. I love brown and these are so cute under something like this cardigan, just so cute together. These sweatpants, I don't think I'm gonna hold on to anymore. I already know that there's a couple other sweatpants I'm gonna get rid of, so we're gonna do that in a second. These are good lounge pants as well. I should have kept those for spring. Those would have been comfy. Um, these leggings are no, I already know that. Um, this is fitted black turtleneck. I keep year in and year out because it's a really good staple, but again, can be folded for um, in my drawers. And then this skirt that I got a hand-me-down from my aunt, it's like vegan leather, not animal leather, fake leather. Um, mini skirt that I feel like is really good with tights and stuff, but it wasn't just wasn't summery enough, so I'm going to put that in my closet. And then the rest I just have are like Christmas sweaters. So I'm gonna hold off putting those in my closet for, oh my gosh, it's almost October. It's almost November. For about another month. And then I'll take those out and wear those. Here is my dresser. Top drawer here, um, just bras, underwear, socks. I'm not gonna go through that. Those aren't really seasonal items. And this drawer is t-shirts and tank tops and that kind of stuff. So we're gonna go through this. I have a feeling like a lot of it will be put away just because they're tank tops and stuff like that that I'm not gonna wear during the fall and winter. So let's go through them. This tank top, not keeping for the fall and winter time. I'm gonna keep it for next year. This one, I really thought I was gonna get a lot more wear out of it than I did. Um, didn't wear it once, so we're gonna get rid of that one. This I did just thrift. I'm really excited to wear it. This kind of knit t-shirt. Amazing Jurassic Park t-shirt that I got at Universal. Um, going to keep for next year. This floral t-shirt as well I'm gonna keep for next year. It's so cute. This tank top I will keep for next year because um, I'm not gonna wear it in winter at the time. This one I think I'll hold on to just because it's a little bit more of um, a knit tank top and that could go really well with some cardigans so I'm gonna hold on to that. This tank top I actually didn't wear at all so you know what let's get rid of it. Let's. I'm so much better at getting rid of clothes than I used to be. I used to hold on to everything um, so I'm really proud of myself. This tank top actually matches um, the cardigan that I'm keeping so I'm gonna hold on to it just because they're a cute matching set. These two are actually both workout tops so those need to go in the other room. This shirt didn't wear once but you know what maybe I'll hold on to it just because I don't have any other layering t-shirts so I'll hold on to that for a little bit. This cropped tank top I will put away for next year as well. This linen top I will put away for next year as well. I don't see myself wearing it in fall and winter um, but if I want it I have it. This tank top is a turtleneck and now that I'm looking at it there's a lot of makeup on the neck so maybe I'm gonna try and wash that before I decide what to do with it. This top again I just didn't wear. It's crazy how much my style has changed in just the last year. These are all tops that I wore like two summers ago like every day and now like I didn't touch them at all this summer. All right so these are sweaters and I can already tell you I'm gonna keep most of them. They're really great lounge sweaters. Wonderful. I just love crew neck sweaters. This one, maybe these are the ones that I should like hang up because um, they're more lightweight and then I should put like the thicker ones in the drawer that like can like wear easier. This vintage Looney Tunes, which is just so cute, but strictly a lounge sweater. Disney, I got this the same trip I got my um, Jurassic Park shirt. Um, Universal and Disney and it just I just love it it's just such a comfy little sweater this oh yeah I did just thrift this I 
should maybe try hanging this one up as well. But it's a cute little tiny moth neck and then it's got like a peplum. Another crew neck. Okay, this one I can get rid of. This one I haven't really worn too much. Another crew neck. Another crew neck with birds and cats on it. This vintage one is so cute. Um, and then this one I think I'll get rid of just because it looks so much better in my head. But the style is just not really for me. So I added the other two orange ones that I pulled out of last year's storage. And now it's pretty full, so I don't think I'm gonna get anything else in there. But this drawer, this bottom drawer, this is leggings, shorts, sweatpants, pajamas. There is so much in this drawer. I am terrified. Literally bursting. Oh my gosh. These leggings are new, keeping them. These leggings were expensive, keeping these. The goal is to not have too many. So now that I've gotten like more better quality leggings, like the ones I'm wearing and then those two, um, the other ones I think I'm gonna get rid of, like these ones are just not good quality. After one wear, they're already stretched out. So, oh, and these are bike shorts. So these should be put away for the, sum, the fall and winter time. These shorts, I didn't wear them. They're really cute, but I did not wear them. These shorts I will hold onto for next year. T-shirts that are just like pajama tops. So pants, good quality leggings that I just got. Made the label had a um, sample sale. So I got a couple leggings from them. These are really nice lounge pants as well that I'm gonna hold onto as these sweatpants because they match the brown sweater in this drawer. Pajamas, pajamas, pajamas pajamas get rid of those I'm gonna get rid of these sweatpants too just because I've had them long enough and they don't really serve me any well anymore these are the matching shorts to the tank top that I just put away I'm gonna hold on to those for next year these sweatpants keeping so that's two pairs of sweatpants shorts that I didn't wear but will probably wear next year and then I think these sleep shirts I'm going to part ways with and that is that drawer. Now I'm gonna try and fit all of that back in with the new stuff from, not the new stuff, but the stuff from last year's wardrobe. Wish me luck. Well, that was truly exhausting, but I'm done and I'm so happy. I actually had enough wooden hangers left over to change all of my husband's stuff onto wooden hangers. So now it's all cohesive, minus a few of the pant ones that are still plastic, but other than that, I think it looks really good. I'm really happy with the color palette that I have going on, as well as the pieces that I have going on. Usually I don't get like too excited about my wardrobe, but I'm working really hard to just create a more intentional wardrobe and kind of starting from scratch over the last year. So each time I bring out what I had from last year, I take a look at it, decide what serves me, what fits me, what matches my um, my style as my style gets more and more defined over the years, which I think it's I think it's pretty much getting there um, Just kind of neutrals and pops of mustard and burnt orange, but other than that with just like creams and browns and just I guess overall like more fall colors even in the summer and winter time even in the summer and springtime, I lean more towards those more vibrant colors rather than like pastels and bright stuff. But anyway, I'm really excited about the current wardrobe that I have going on for the fall and winter time. I think I mentioned like I want to find some more um, like just comfortable pants that aren't leggings and as well as a few more layering t-shirts that I can wear with everything under under anything. So there will probably be a thrifting video or two coming in the future, but all of that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.